What's something that's going on with your body that you should probably have checked out by a doctor, but haven't gotten around to it yet? A couple times a week, when I'm falling asleep, I feel like I can't breathe. I mean, I'm breathing, but I am overcome with the burning, panic sensation of holding my breath, usually lasts a few minutes. Sleep technician here could be sleep apnea with sleep paralysis. Like the other guy said, go see your doctor. Prolonged sleep apnea is bad stuff. I urinate extremely frequently. I probably pee upwards of 20 times a day on average, and always a substantial amount. From what I've been able to surmise from the opinions of others I either have a very active bladder, or diabetes. I have a lot of pressure in my pelvis, and shooting pains down my legs. My pee is cloudy and my back hurts all the time. I went to the earlier, kidney infection. I'm on IV antibiotics right now. Thanks for pushing me to go, everybody. Get the frick off reddit and go to a doctor. My heart skips beats a lot and resumed with a weird thump. Heart palpitations are fairly normal, but if you are worried about it, you can go get checked out. Every once in a while my chest hurts, like right where my heart is and it hurts in waves that coincide with my breathing. Pain is sharp and stays for a while. Absolutely no idea what it is but it's been happening since I was 12-ish so 9 years. Also I get head rushes all the time. Look up Precodial Catch Syndrome. Nothing is known about it other than it's common and non-threatening. Been noticably affecting daily life for the last couple months. Nosebleeds, bad and random bruising. Like last week I woke up and had bruises along my spine. I'm constantly tired. Constantly. It never ends. My days off consist of sleeping all day. Oh and shaky and weak hands. I'm a cellist. And the muscle weakness in my hands has gotten worse to the point that I've dropped my bow in the middle of playing quite a few times. Frick my dysfunctional self. You really need to make an appointment to see a doctor. About a year and a half ago I had to get a chest x-ray and CT scan because I was having a really hard time breathing and I'd had bronchitis continuously for probably a year straight. They found an unidentified mass and said after a course of antibiotics and steroids I should repeat the tests. I took the meds but I never followed up on the tests, partly because I can't really take off work without my boss making my life heck, and partly because I'm kind of worried about what they'll find. Both stupid reasons, but there you are. Pretty sure my wisdom teeth are coming in. It's been hurting for about a month now. My dentist once told me that tooth pain is a lot like car trouble. It may still drive just fine, and if you ignore it long enough, it may even seem to go away on its own. But unless you get it looked at, it'll just get worse. Granted, I know he just said that because the sucker wants to get paid, but he's not wrong. My sister has a blue mole on her butt, like blue blue, like the sky, she said it appeared a year ago. This may be unrelated but according to my Mongolian co-worker a blue mole means the person has been reincarnated. I am an 18 year old girl and I have not had a period since last June. I have what I assume is a benign cyst on my testicles. Seriously, go to a doc. I have a weird issue that I've heard very little about. It's this odd sensation of my brain getting electrocuted, and a shock going across the inside of my head. It doesn't hurt in the conventional sense of the word, but it's incredibly uncomfortable. Sometimes they can be so bad I have to stop for a few minutes to collect, but it's been a while. I call them jolts, because I haven't actually been able to find it as a medical symptom anywhere. Lump on the balls. Had a sonogram and they confirmed there was a lump. Never went back. That was maybe 5 years ago. Still alive. Jesus man how do you go 5 years without even wondering whether that's life threatening. Go get some answers man. Sometimes when I am laying still. My brain feels fuzzy. Almost tingly. And then it feels as if my head is being shaken hard and fast. The room moves oddly. Not spinning. It's hard to explain. It scares me because I am not moving at all and it lasts for 10-15 seconds. I have gone to the doctor and they've ignored me, so I haven't gone in a long time about it. Serious I got two long tubes of skin growing one on my neck and one on my groin area freaky crap I have not told anyone. It does not hurt it's weird though. The one in the groin area is your dong. Not sure about the one on your neck, but it might be your neck. 
Loud ringing in my ears. I keep forgetting to mention it to my doctor. I have a tiny scab on the side of my nose that never seems to heal. Sores that don't heal are a major sign of skin cancer. If it is, they'll probably just remove that bit and sew it up. Not a big deal, but you don't want it hanging around. Hair loss on the right side of my head, none whatsoever on my left. Also the right side of my beard grows quicker and fuller compared to the left. Haven't been to a dentist in 15 years at least. My mouth feels fine, looks fine, smells normal. I'm not worried about anything, but I still suspect that I should maybe go to the dentist. I'll go if when something hurts. My dong pops. Like when I get an erection, I can pop it like a finger. Ow. Constant numbness and tingling in my hands. Sounds like it could be the beginnings of carpal tunnel syndrome. Go to your local drugstore and get a couple of wrist braces. They're about $10 each but man can they work wonders. Especially if you wear them at night and want to avoid waking up to excruciating pain because your hands have been asleep forever. Every couple of months or so I have one or two really bloody bowel movements. It always freaks me out, but then I calm down and just pretend it didn't happen. One time I realized it was because I had eaten a bunch of beets the night before, but all of the others were definitely not related to the color of my diet. My eyesight. I should probably get my yearly checkup with my optometrist, but I hate getting reminded that my eye is getting worse and need to pay another $500 to get new glasses. Part A. Get your prescription and find your pupillary distance. Don't buy the glasses contacts. Step 3. Go to coastal.com, Ibuwa Direct, some online shop. Section 4B. Save some green. I have a really high resting heart rate. The lowest I've ever seen my resting heart rate is 70, but it's normally at least 90 and usually in triple digits. I'm 24, male, athletic, and in decent shape, but I have no idea if this is a thing to be concerned about or not. It has always been that way, and I always passed physicals, so I'm just rolling with it right now. I have a discomfort in my lower right abdomen near the back. I got an ultrasound 2 years ago when I was 21. Apparently my liver is the size of a 40 year old alcoholics. This is cause I drank so much diet coke for about a year straight. Now 2 years later the discomfort seems more regular. I actually feel pain when I have a lot of poop waiting to come out. My theory is my liver is even bigger now and it's competing for space with my intestines. So when my intestines are full of stool it causes mild pain. So yeah, I should check it out. Could be something else entirely. I also get a mild pain in my left testicles around where the tube from the balls goes inside my groin. It feels pretty vascular. I read about a condition where the tube can have extra veins around it causing sensitivity from being too vascular. No lumps or anything. I have to pee in the middle of the night every night. For the past couple years now. I'm not sure if that's normal or not. But it's annoying especially when I'm trying to get a good night's sleep. I am growing this long thing between my legs. It's cool. I got mine checked the other day and the doctor said it's just an oversized clitoris. As a runner, just about everything. We never go to the doctor for injuries. That's odd. My running group goes to the doctor more than anyone else because they never want to be out due to injuries. My knees really freaking hurt. Also I need my wisdom teeth pulled. And I need general blood work done to see if I could have something medical causing my depression. I'm a hot mess. Do it. You'll feel so much better as soon as you initiate contact with a doctor. Former alcoholic. When I was close to the end of my drinking, my ankles swelled up for like 8 months straight. Eventually went back down. I knew it wasn't good, but I didn't really give a crap about my health at the time so, frick the whole doctor thing. Since then, I have to pee like every hour and my urine is dark and smells really strong. It's been over a decade, and I've been sober that long, so not too afraid of dying but I wouldn't be surprised if I have permanent liver kidney damage from the drinking. Had surgery recently and the dissolvable stitches are still there. Probably should go have that checked but it's not real I, I, I bothering me so. Meh. I also had dissolvable stitches in my mouth from dental surgery and well after the period they were all supposed to be gone there were a couple stragglers that my dad had to go in with teeny tiny scissors and cut them and gently pull them out of. 
my gums didn't hurt or anything, just felt weird and relieving to have them be finally out. I got my period last week and it just started again. I'm usually regular so this is really freaking me out. I didn't change my diet, level of exercise, and I'm not on birth control so I have no idea why this is happening. It happens. It could be due to a simple hormonal imbalance from a diet change, stress, and a kinds of things. If it really worried you go see a gynecologist not a doctor. This happened to me and they just wanted to put me on birth control. Saw the gyno. Found out it was normal and since I was a heavy bleeder I decided to just get an IUD. Excruciating headaches like someone took a hammer to the back of my head after fricking or exercise. Sounds like dehydration. The fact that my joints are feeling stiff and there is a history of rheumatoid arthritis in my family. But I'm only too freaking 8. I want to be active for the rest of my life. I'm really hoping to see what I can do diet wise. There are small kids who get diagnosed with RA. Your joints can be stiff of other reasons. But better to be sure. I've had swollen lymph nodes in my groin for several years now. Often lymph nodes will swell with a nasty viral infection but become hardened with scar tissue, and stay like that forever. Almost every time I go out to eat I end up with searing stomach pain and sometimes nausea about 15 minutes later that lasts anywhere from an hour or until I cry myself to sleep. It doesn't happen when I cook for myself and it's all sorts of different foods. I started keeping a food log. It's made me afraid of going out to eat fearing that I'll be miserable shortly after. Haven't had it checked because I'm a poor and busy college student and because it saves me money by having an excuse to not go out to eat. My sister-in-law had this, and it turned out to be gallbladder attacks. The extra fat used at restaurants was the trigger. I think we mostly don't realize how much extra they use over home cooking. Obligatory I'm not a doctor but I've seen one on TV disclaimer goes here. Random heart palpitations that cause dizziness. For 2 weeks I've been bloated all day long. I'm still taking regular poops, and I'm not experiencing any cramps or stomach pains the only symptom I have is bloating. I've thus far tried not eating, eating slower and Alka-Seltzer and still nothing. It may be time to give in. I sometimes feel popping along my sternum like knuckle popping when I stretch by pressing my chest out or twisting my neck in a weird way. Sometimes I don't feel it after but there's times when I feel like I can't relax my chest and have to have it press out or I get this extreme pressure feeling where it pops. I'm about 90% sure my replacement pulmonary valve is starting to fail. I get short of breath easily, I always seem to be tired, and even walking upstairs raises my heart rate noticeably. I'd be lying if I said it doesn't make me worry. I have a cardiologist appointment in June for this reason. I'm an active, healthy 18 year old female of average weight and height. I can run a mile in 7 minutes but if I climb a flight of stairs at home, I'm winded. Probably something respiratory. I also get pneumonia and or bronchitis on a yearly basis. Sometimes more than once in a year. At this point we just have cabinets full of amoxicillin and don't even bother with the doctor. But I probably shouldn't put it off any longer. Also, if you have cabinets full of antibiotics, that indicates that you haven't taken the full course. This is bad because the infection may not be completely removed and develops a resistance to antibiotics. Always take the full course. After drinking I don't get hangovers. Diagnosis. Early 20s. Give it time. My left index finger knuckle fricking kills when I make a fist. I can't breathe. Like, something is stopping me from making a deep breath. I can probably do some, but most of the time it feels like the breathing is tight or something. Yeah, I'm probably dying. I want to kill myself. I just don't think it's a problem. But apparently, that's just part of the problem. Now I'm not sure if I haven't done it because I think it might be wrong. Or I'm just too much of a pee. Definitely go see a doctor. I got diagnosed with depression and some simple medicine has really helped me out. You'll be happy you got some help. I hope you feel better soon. I think we should make a thread like this every month. We would save quite some lives this way. You've been spotted by the doggo of studying. Like this video for good grades for the next 2 years. Like and subscribe you magnificent person.